What's up, guys? How's it going? Happy what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Today's my rest day. Wednesday's like never my rest day, but my schedule's all messed up this week, dude. I hit legs yesterday. The day before that, I hit back and by. So tomorrow will probably be chest, chest and shoulder day. Friday probably run off some arms, and then Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, I'm probably gonna hit legs again. To be honest. Um, Actually, maybe not, because I'm, I might just let my legs rest. So, I think I'm training legs with my coach next week. Uh, so, yeah, today's Wednesday. Um, just finished going over some trades. Uh, kind of, like, looking back at the chart for today. I'm kind of disappointed that I... Uh, I didn't take anything. I haven't taken anything at all this week. Um, I mean, sometimes that's a good thing, but... Today, I did, there are definitely trades that I could have caught. So, I'm kind of upset. I mean, not upset, but I just know that, like... I mean, like, the one trade, I just completely missed my entry. The other one, like, it was there, and then I just decided not to take it. I was... You know, I didn't immediately go perfectly, but I definitely should have taken it. And the other one, I just didn't have my contracts up. Um. So, yeah, like, Monday, price action was terrible. Yesterday was... Okay, and today I definitely should have taken a trade. There's definitely a chance for me to take trades. Um, so that's not what you love to see, but you know it happens. So hopefully we'll end out Thursday and Friday with some bangers. Uh, what did I do today? Yeah, most of my day was kind of doing like a breakdown of last month. Um, so last month my business did like three x. We've grown every month, so like I consider when when this business started for this year, um, like it's like a real business, September, and then we like doubled it in October, and then we like tripled, we actually a little bit more, we a little bit more than tripled, in November, um, so obviously I'm looking to grow again this month, right? And how are we gonna grow again, right? You you gotta look back at what worked, so. That's kind of what I spent solidly two hours of my day doing. I'm um, just going back. Sorry, let me turn off my Discord notifications real quick. I just went back and I kind of looked because I have like a little financial statement of um like our customers and like our bookings and how much we make. Um, and what I pretty much did is I went through every single booking that we had last month. Um, and I kind of just broke down like <clears throat> the details about it. Like, okay. How do we acquire this customer? Um, how much do we make from this customer? Is this customer going to become a repeating customer? Um, just like a bunch of random stuff. Like, do they post it on social media? Because, you know, that shows that they're, they're satisfied with the pictures or videos they got. Um, what service do they buy? Do they refer a friend? You know, all kinds of stuff like that. Just going back and seeing, like, what we could do better. Um what our customers liked and didn't like. I do plan on doing a customer survey tomorrow. So I'm gonna send out a survey to all of our customers from last month and see what we can do. Um, but I, I pretty much broke it down into a couple core goals for this month. So let me, damn, that's bright. It's a bright as hell. Let me, um, let me pull it up. So yeah, basically I went through, uh, acquired through outbound. Um, closed up. One thing I noticed is that every single one besides one of our bookings for last month. Like, we didn't just get the customer and book the customer. I closed them after like one, two, maybe even three follow-ups. So that's definitely a trend that I saw with them is like, you can't just like get it. Like a lead can tell you no once and you can't just like give up on them. So this lighting is not cool, bro. I look like a ghost. It's like the blue com computer lighting. Um. And then I have like personal notes under each customer. So I was like, okay, could have been faster with the photo delivery here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Tried to upsell. So one thing I'm really focused on this month is increasing like lifetime value per customer. Kind of like just making each customer worth more and getting them for a recurring basis. I already have a couple kids that are interested in doing more stuff this month. We had one team do two things last month. So, you know, that's really the goal is to give your customers the best experience, make them worth more over time to you, 
and then get them to refer people. Because when I did customer survey like last month, uh, it showed that most of our customers came from like inbound referrals. So that wasn't necessarily the case this month. We had a few that, came, that I got from uh, Instagram, just like warm outreach. But yeah, mm, biggest month so far, probably like a decent amount. You know, I know I'm very, very new to all this stuff, but well, in the grand scheme of things, I'm new. But so far, this has been our biggest month by a decent amount. Um, and I did good for myself. Last month, we had an okay month as a business, but I ate, I ate shit. I had the back end of shit because we had, um, we had refunds last month. Like, we had a decent amount of revenue, but profit. I barely, I barely broke even on the business last month, which is not good. But this month, I came out the side with some, some good money. So it's what you always love to see. Um, so yeah, just some like takeaways is, like I said, almost all of them took a follow up to like secure it. Um, all the outbound acquisitions that we had, like the warm outreach, they showed interest, like some kind of general interest from the first message. So I know that the one kid was asking a bunch of different questions. That's a good thing. Dude, by the way, my like, my 9-7 fell off of my chain. Can't get it back on, it's like broken. Um, I don't know why you care. You probably don't care. Just, just saw that I was like, whatever. Dude, I need some Adderall, bro. Carter Wyatt, hook me up with some Adderall. That's my teammate who has some severe ADHD. And I've been trying to get him to give me Adderall for like forever. But he just never will. So I'm going to steal it one day. So Carter Wyatt, if you're watching this, I'm stealing your Adderall. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in this video, huh? Weird little uh, sidetrack there. But, um, yeah, so they showed some kind of interest if we were the ones to reach out to them first. So, like, for those of you that don't know what outbound is, it means you... You reach out to someone, basically, like, tell them about your service, etc. And, yeah. Inbound is when they come to you, when they send the first contact. Um, and the one thing that I was trying to do that didn't really work for two... So, we had two, three, three customers who did, like, individual stuff, like, not a team. And you obviously make less from an individual uh, shoot than a team shoot. Two of them were doing photo shoots, which is pretty, it's not a lot of money. It's like $65. So what I try to do is like upsell them with their team to get some friends on it. Like, do you have anyone else who wants pictures? Both of them said no. So what I plan to do in the future when I have an individual who is just trying to do something individual, first I'm going to ask if they have any friends. Second, I'm going to try to upsell them on something else. Like give them a better deal on like, let's say they're getting pictures, give them a better deal on mic'd up. Like just... That's the main focus is getting getting more money per customer, ideally. Um, so that way I have more money to play around with with paid ads and all that. And then that way my my CAC cost to acquire a customer is pretty low. And my lifetime value per customer is high. So yeah. Um, and a lot of them, I think a big thing was I just like, I feel like I've been more on the forefront this month. Like... The past two months, it was kind of just like me in the background running the business from my laptop. But I've been to most of the games, if not all the games this month, and kind of just talking to the kids. So I think like building human connections because like, dude, like they're hockey players. I'm a hockey player. I talk like a hockey player, <laughs> look like a hockey player. So it's kind of like, you know, they're just like, it's less like this kid's trying to sell me something more like, all right, this kid like gets what I need, you know? And that's kind of, especially with the rebrand, I want to do a lot of like, uh, like I want to create myself as a face behind the brand, you know, do a lot of like content that feels like hockey content. So that way you attract the right people. Um, so that's something I want to focus on. Yeah. I think that was huge. So like just building like a human connection with the players. I think that's helped this month. Um, and a couple just takeaways, like, well, those were, those were all takeaways, but like negative takeaways is some of the players posted the pictures right and they tagged us but the pictures look bad and the reason the pictures look bad is because they screenshotted them instead of downloading them so if you like screenshot and then post on instagram it takes down like the pixel whatever like the quality is just bad in layman's terms the quality is just worse 
So that's bad looks when they're tagging us and it looks bad because they screenshot us. So I need to make sure every customer moving forward knows to like save the photos to your camera roll so when you post them, like it doesn't look like we took terrible pictures. Um, so that's one thing. And then there were a couple times where I gave like too nice of discounts. Like it's kind of sell myself short type deal. I would be like, okay, yeah, we could do it for this much if you can get us a referral or a review. So, like, well, at first it was review. At the end of the month, I started asking for referrals. But in the future, like, we have enough testimonials. Like, I don't need to offer kids discounts for reviews. So, I missed out on, like, an extra 500 700 bucks just from, like, the way I priced things. It was only a few teams that I gave discounts to. But, like, I'm not going to be giving deals like for no reason like you know we did have a holiday deal and stuff like that but you know unless you're referring me to another customer that makes up for the fact that you're going to be paying less you're not going to get to pay less um so that's one thing that i kind of did wrong this month that could have made me some more money um and then just some some plans and goals for this month of how i'm going to use last month's data to make this month to make more money this month plain and simple um is I'm gonna try to upsell, upsell everyone. Try to upsell everyone. So like, if a team's doing team photos, let's be like, okay, we could throw in a video for ten dollars more per player, etc. Which, when you have twenty players, that's an extra two hundred dollars. So like, when you phrase it like it's a per player rate, it's crazy. You can make so much more. Um, you know, and then try to schedule something out. Like try to create recurring customers, like that right after the shoot. Be like, okay, like, let's say you didn't get the upsell. Let's say, okay, we just did some photos. How about? What you, what you got next week going on? We could do a little video. Or let's say you're doing something for a high school team, but you know that half those kids play club. So it's like, oh, how's your club team doing? We can get you set up with a photo shoot for your travel team too. You know, so just trying to make, like I said, trying to make customers worth more. Um, and a goal I have is to provide a repeat service to five of the customers from this month, which is, which is only like a third. So like if I can get five customers from this month to buy something again or five customers from last month to buy something again this month that's my goal um overall improve the delivery process like the first second weekend of november we had like three or four shoots and they all took long to get the i have videos if you scroll back i was having so many technical difficulties and it was a pain it was terrible and I kind of just want to start under promising and over delivering because I know I can get the photos back pretty fast, but I, I was saying I was getting, getting the back pretty fast. And then when you run it in, you got to leave room for that kind of stuff. So that's something I didn't know last month. I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen this month. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, yeah, I want to expand in a couple different ways of like monetizing it. So obviously we just do, um like direct to consumer like they booked before and then we fulfill the service and then give them the stuff i want to start every single game we go to i want to get a few pictures of every single player on the rink and post them on like line on like line online like maybe like smug mug or like something like that we don't have a website up right now because like i said rebranding so i still gotta get that situated but for the time being maybe like a smug mug or like i think you can buy photos on google photos but yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do too. So that way you can get, you know, people who book before, but then you can find kids who go and will get an individual download. So that's just like, you're not gonna make a ton of money from that, but just for some extra money per shoot. If you're going somewhere, you might as well get as much content as possible. <sighs> I just yapped for 14 minutes about business and yeah, pretty much business. I started like, I was just talking about like what's going on in my day. And I kind of got into some, tactical stuff but yeah that's pretty that's that's what i spent all day doing is figuring out what worked last month what didn't work last month um and how we're gonna grow even more this month because at the end of the day like sure i'm not making a ton of money um i'm making okay money for the fact that i'm three months really in the business business um i mean i don't know my brain just froze for a second but like, yeah, I'm making okay money. But the the real thing at the end of the day is that we, we've been growing every single month. So I want to continue to stay on that path. Like I obviously have significantly bigger goals for the business than what I'm making monetarily right now. 
because I know I can make so much more, but, like, it's just baby steps, I guess, at this point. And, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much the end of the video. I was just kind of rambling on there for a while. But, yeah, I figured out what kind of worked well, um, what didn't work well, what I plan on doing this month differently, and some, some goals. So, I actually am heading to a shoot tonight. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope this wasn't like too long or boring. But then again, I don't really care because these videos are just as much for myself as they are for you guys. Because I, what did I just click on? I would like something to look back on one day. So it's cool just recording like the day-to-day -day process. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.